Hi everyone, my name's Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video was prompted by a video that I've already did and that was I was being asked by a subscriber uh, to have battery warnings so if they were flying 4S or 6S batteries for their quadcopter. Now I came up with a very simplistic way of doing it to, and I released the video um, about two months ago and it just used a switch. So uh, Chris Young, who was the um, subscriber, came back to me and uh, gave me um, some coding for the logical switches uh, to set it up um, so that it's, it's completely automatic, which was, I'm giving credit to Chris for, for doing this. I've slightly modified what he did, um, where I've added a delay and I connected it to the arm switch. Uh, I think Chris set up a separate uh, switch to be able to turn this system on and off so that when he plugged into the uh, the quadcopter into the computer into beta flight it didn't keep on going off well I set mine up onto the arm switch and you wouldn't normally arm your quad when you uh, put it onto beta flight only if you were the motors are off and you were just testing them anyway let's switch over to uh, my radio and open TX and I will show you how I programmed this now as I've said before there are many ways of doing these things with OpenTX that's what's the um, what's great about OpenTX now let's switch over to that radio now let's take a look at the logical switches we're going to hit the model key and go back until we get to our logical switches now our first logical switch is going to be A is greater than X where X is our let me just do this is our telemetry for the v bat for our flight battery. Bill from the future, I made a mistake there. A is actually your telemetry reading and X is the value you are setting that logical switch to. So in my case on this transmitter, our receiver, sorry, it's A3. And we want the A3 and we're gonna set the voltage at 18 volts. But let me explain why we set it up to 18 volts. So I've selected 18 volts because we are going to use on this quadcopter uh, a 4S or a 6S battery. So I need to, to be able to tell the radio that this, I tell the logical switch to choose whether it is a four or six out. So I came up with 18 volts because 18 volts will be far too high for a four cell and far too low for a six cell, obviously it's possible to take it very low, but you wouldn't because the battery is likely to catch on fire. So that's why I've stuck to 18 volts as the selective um, logical switch that will choose whether we've got four or six S in our quadcopter. Now let's go on to logical switch two. Now this is where we start setting up the different voltages. So we're gonna click. This now has to be A is smaller than A is smaller than, and again, our telemetry for our battery. Okay, and I'm going to set this voltage at 3.7. I, I normally, I, I've found that I've been flying to my batteries to only 3.8. I know you can go a lot lower than that, but this is the warning. So I'm going to set this up to 3.7 volts to give the warning. So for a four cell, that's 14.8 volts. Okay, and then we also need to set a delay up for this so that if we punch out, we, um, we don't get false readings. So let's put a delay of 0.5 of a second. So it would have to be below that voltage for more than 0.5 of a second. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next line. And in the next line, we're gonna set the voltage warning up for six cell. So let's switch back. Uh, again, it's gonna be A is smaller than Oops, again, A is smaller than X. There you go, far too fast. Okay, the same telemetry. And now using the same point 3.7, uh, 3 I'm going to set this up to 22.2. .2. There we go. And also a delay of 0.5 in case we punch out. Okay, and then we move on to our next line. Now, logical switch 4 and 5 are the actual switches that are going to set off our warnings. So let's go on to our first one. And in here, we need to select and. 
and in here we are going to select a logical switch so we can tap hold down logical switches we need to select not LO1 so in other words not the first logical switch which is the 18 volts so this is going to be for our um, first battery warning for the 4S so let's do that now and we are going to have to go up okay and then this needs to be logical switch number two you can see that is our four cell battery and then I'm going to select my arm switch so if I push down that's armed so in other words it will only give the warnings when we're armed if we're disarmed we won't get any of the warnings now we need to that we've just got the second line for this for the 6s and that is going to be again and then it's logical switch this time logical switch and this time it is the actual the switch active or on and then we are going to select here logical switch again and this will be logical switch three because that's our 20, uh, 6s okay then again the same with the switch so we're going to select the switch so and it operates when we are armed okay there we go so we've done all of our logical switches now let's move on to the special functions and we're going to go to the next available and in here we are going to have to choose logical switch four which is going to be for our 4s battery warning we're going to say play track select play track rather and I'm going to speed this up and we're going to select FBL which is flight battery low and then we're going to change this to be every five seconds you can you can choose whatever you however what time you'd like it to repeat then we move on to our next line and this is going to be logical switch number five which is for the 6s warning and we're going to do the same again play track and again I'll speed this up there we go flight battery low and a go oh, whoops wrong one go back again up one there we go and five seconds we should be good to go now that should be everything so let's uh, let me set up the my uh, toolkit RCP 200 so that I can have a variable power supply and we'll give this a test now let's go to our logical switches now if I arm we're getting a warning because let's turn the power to 5 volts we'll just turn on so we are running at 4.8 volts so that is too low we need to be above 14.8 for the warning to go off so I'm going to 14 we go to 15.4 now the warning should stop because now we're running a 4s battery and we are above the voltage now if we now carry on and go to 18 volts now don't forget the calibration won't be perfect so let's go to 18 volts we should still not get a warning but as soon as we go over because now we're running a 6s we're getting the warnings now we would have to go above 22.2 to stop the warnings now I'm at 18.1 if I move up to 23 let's go up to 23 oh. okay the warning should stop now because I'm putting in a voltage of 22.8 volts into the sensor so it thinks the 6 hour battery is uh, not at low voltage yet so there we go that's the demonstration and there we go and thanks again to Chris Young if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you thanks for watching happy flying bye for now